in this video we are going to discuss about abelian group uh, so we are going to discuss about uh, the properties of the abelian group and we will try to solve two examples whether these whether these two groups are uh, abelian group or not okay first let us see the properties of the abelian group uh, let we have an algebraic system called uh, s comma star comma plus here s means a non empty set non empty set means the corresponding set must contain some elements and we can perform star and plus binary operations on the corresponding set okay so an algebraic system s comma star comma plus is called as abelian group if it satisfies five properties they are the first property is closure property the second property is associative property third one is identity element identity element fourth one is inverse element and the fifth one is commutative property commutative property if an algebraic system satisfies these five properties then we can say that it is a abelian group okay we can say that it is abelian group so let us discuss all the five properties one by one and parallelly we are going to solve these two examples okay what is the first example show that g so g means group show that g is equal to 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i is an abelian group under the multiplication so for the first example we have to perform only multiplication operation g is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 5 4 comma 5 prove that g is abelian group here no operation is specif specified so let us do the binary operation plus okay so finally we are going to solve these two examples with the properties so what is the first property the first property is closure property closure property so what is closure property closure property means we have to take two elements from the set so for any two elements for any two elements a comma b belongs to s or we can write as a comma b belongs to g also so for any two elements a comma b belongs to s then if a plus b belongs to s and a star b belongs to s then we can say that closure property is satisfied so let us solve whether these two examples satisfies closure property or not so what is the first example it contains group contains two elements 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i so we have to prove that this is abelian group with respect to the star operation okay with respect to the star operation we can take any two elements from the set so let us consider 1 comma minus 1 uh, a comma b belongs to s let uh, a means 1 b means minus 1 so 1 comma minus 1 belongs to s or we can write as here the problem is g so 1 comma minus 1 belongs to g so here we have to perform the operation with respect to the multiplication so 1 star minus 1 belongs to g so what is the result of 1 star minus 1? Minus 1 only. So minus 1 is present in the group. So we can say that it satisfies the first property that is closure property. Okay. Now let us see the second example whether it satisfies closure property or not. We can take any two elements from the set. Here we are doing the operation with respect to the plus or you can perform with respect to multiplication also because nothing is given in the problem or you can solve regarding with respect to both plus and star there is no problem so let us consider 1 comma 2 so 1 comma 2 belongs to g so here we are doing the operation with respect to the plus so 1 plus 2 so 1 comma 2 belongs to g let a means 1 b means 2 okay so 1 plus 2 belongs to g what is the result of 1 plus 2 3 so 3 is present in the group so we can say that this problem also satisfies closure property now let us see the second property the second property is associative property 
the second property is associative property in the examination only one problem will be given uh, so you need to show whether it satisfies uh, all the properties or not so first uh, first committed first one closure second one associative so likewise you need to check whether the problem satisfies all the properties or not but here i am solving both the examples uh, with respect to the property second property is associative property second property is associative property associative property means we have to take three elements from the set so for any three elements for any three elements a comma b comma c belongs to s then if here associative in associative let the second symbol here the second symbol is s let s stands for same symbol same symbol so a plus b plus c same symbol is equal to a plus b plus c and if you take star then a star b star c is equal to a star b star c okay so if lhs equals to the rhs lhs equals to the rhs then we can say that associative property is satisfied now how many elements we have to take three elements so 1 comma minus 1 comma i belongs to g here we have taken the first three elements we can take any three elements it is our choice okay here abelian group means with respect to the star operation so star means so one star minus one star what is z value i is equal to one star b star c means minus one star i so one into minus one means minus one minus one into i means minus i is equal to 1 into mi minus 1 into i means what minus i minus i into 1 means minus i minus i is equal to minus i so lhs is equal to the rhs so we can say that it satisfies associative property now let us see the second problem we can take any three elements from the set let us take 1 2 3 1 2 3 belongs to g so 1 plus here we are doing the operation with respect to the plus so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 so 1 plus 2 means 3 3 plus 3 means 6 1 plus 2 plus 3 means 5 1 plus 5 means 6 6 is equal to 6 condition is true so we can say that for the second problem also associative property is satisfied okay now let us see the third property the third property is identity element fourth property is inverse element identity element for identity use element for inverse also use element don't use property identity element identity element it is better to use element identity element identity element means we have to take two elements from the set so for any two elements for any two elements a comma the second element is e a comma e belongs to e then then if a plus e is equal to e plus a is equal to a then we can say that it satisfies the identity element here e means identity element identity element is e and the second property is a star e the second condition is a star e is equal to e star a is equal to a okay so if it satisfies this property this equation then we can say that it satisfies the identity element let us check whether the first example satisfies identity element or not so how many elements we have to take here here we need to take only one element we need to take only a okay uh, let us consider that uh, uh, a belongs to yes here what is a uh, we can take any element here i am assuming here i am taking minus i minus i is belongs to what is the name of the group here set g g set means here g here so minus i is belongs to the g here one more important point is the identity element with respect to the plus is 0 the identity element with respect to the star is 1 so what is the identity element with respect to the plus 0 what is the identity element with respect to the star 1 here we are doing which operation star operation so what is e value minus 1 i'm sorry what is e value 1 star operation means identity element with respect to the multiplication is 1 so what is the formula now a star what is a minus i into what is e value 1 is equal to what is e value 1 into 
what is a value minus i that is equal to minus i into 1 means minus i 1 into minus i means minus i what is minus i minus i is nothing but a value so this condition is satisfied so we can say that here identity element is also satisfied okay now let us check the second problem what is the second problem we need to take any element from the set let we have taken 3 from the uh, set so 3 belongs to g here we are doing the operation with respect to plus with respect to plus the identity element is 0 so a so 3 plus what is e value 0 3 plus 0 is equal to what is e value 0 0 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 0 means 3 0 plus 3 means 3 so the 3 is nothing but a value so for the second problem also identity element is satisfied identity element is satisfied now let us see the next property that is inverse element the next property is inverse element inverse element inverse element identity element followed by inverse element let we have an element called a a belongs to s then there exist another element called a inverse a inverse belongs to s let a belongs to s then there exist another element called a inverse is also belongs to s in place of a inverse we can take some other name also there is no problem in place of a inverse we can take b c d likewise we can take any element there is no problem okay then then here the condition is a plus a inverse is equal to a inverse plus a is equal to e so e means identity element a is an element from the set a inverse is nothing but inverse of that element and with respect to the star here the formula is a star a inverse is equal to a inverse into a is equal to e okay is equal to e now let us check whether these two problems satisfies inverse element or not so let us consider any element from the set okay uh, let us consider any element from the set uh, let me have taken uh, uh, i i from the set so a belongs to s let us take i so i belongs to g i belongs to g here we are performing which operation star operation for the star operation a inverse means what is the formula here a into a inverse is equal to e so how to calculate a inverse a inverse is equal to e by a what is a value what is e value with respect to the multiplication with respect to the multiplication e value is 1 already we have seen that in identity element with respect to the plus identity element is 0 okay so a inverse is equal to e by a what is e value with respect to the multiplication why because abelian group uh, we are doing with respect to the star operation so 1 1 by what is a value we have taken i 1 by i so here a inverse value is 1 by i a inverse value is 1 by i so now let us check the pro property a into what is a we have taken i into what is i, I inverse 1 by i is equal to what is a inverse 1 by i into what is a value i so i into 1 by i means i i cancelled i i cancelled so 1 is equal to 1 so what is that 1 that 1 is nothing but e value that 1 is nothing but e value so we got 1 as the result with respect to multiplication what is e value 1 so we can say that it satisfies inverse element so very very easy so here uh, with respect to the multiplication e value identity element is 1 so first we have to find out the a inverse so what is the formula a into a inverse is equal to e so from that formula we can obtain a inverse value so a inverse is equal to we can write as e by a what is e value 1 by what is a value we have taken i as a as 1 okay so here what is the formula a into a inverse i into what is a inverse i into 1 by i is equal to what is a inverse 1 by i into i is equal to 1 so it satisfies inverse element also now let us see the second example second example we are doing with respect to the plus operation with respect to the plus operation let us take some a value let a is equal to 2 let a is equal to 2 here with respect to the addition what is the identity element 0 is the identity element 0 is the identity element so here 
a plus a inverse is equal to what is the formula a plus a inverse is equal to what is the identity element e a plus a inverse is equal to e this is the formula so we can write it as a inverse is equal to e minus a here we are doing plus operation so identity element is 0 so 0 minus what is a value minus 2 so minus 2 so minus 2 is the identity element so with respect to the plus if the element is 2 then the inverse of that element is minus 2 with respect to the 3 inverse of 3 is what minus 3 inverse of 4 is minus 4 with respect to the plus whereas with respect to the multiplication inverse of 1 is 1 by 1 with respect to 2 with respect to the multiplication inverse of 2 is 1 by 2 likewise we need to calculate so with respect to the plus inverse means simply we have to negate that value whereas with respect to the star inverse means 1 by that element that is it so now let us see that here we have considered 2 here a plus a inverse 2 plus what is a inverse minus 2 2 plus minus 2 is equal to a inverse plus a what is a inverse minus 2 plus what is a value 2 so 2 plus minus 2 means 0 minus 2 plus 2 means 0 what is 0 with respect to the plus with respect to the plus the identity element is 0 only with respect to the plus the identity element is 0 so we got result as 0 0 is nothing but that e value so we can say that inverse element here also satisfied inverse element here also satisfied now let us see the last one that is commutative property so commutative property is very very simple here we need to focus mainly on inverse element okay inverse element is a little bit difficult when compared with the remaining remaining four are very very easy now let us see the last one last property that is commutative property commutative property means we have to take two elements from the set for any two elements a comma b belongs to s if a plus b is equal to b plus a then we can say that that uh, commutative property is satisfied okay let us take two elements from the set one comma minus one here we are doing which operation multiplication operation so here the next one is a star b is equal to b star a so we need to consider two elements let us consider one comma minus one so one into minus one why because abelian group means here the problem is given a star so one minus one is equal to minus one into one is equal to minus one so one minus i am sorry this is not necessary a star b is equal to b star a one into minus one means minus one minus one into one means minus one so left hand side is equal to the rhs so we can say that here commutative property is also satisfied now let us see about uh, the second example uh, let us consider two elements uh, 2 comma 3 here we are doing with respect to the plus so 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 2 plus 3 means 5 3 plus 2 means 5 so we can say that commutative property is also satisfied so this is about uh, abelian group and uh, some examples on the abelian group so this is about uh, abelian group